It's Patrick from Half Wheel, and today I'm taking a look at the Blazer PB207, a lighter that's been on the market since 1985. And while not explicitly geared towards cigar smokers, it has become a favorite among many of them. Now, you may be wondering why review this model that's been around for 37 years or so now. Well, quite honestly, the pandemic slowed the release down of a lot of new products, so there wasn't a lot of new lighters to review. So we decided to take a look back at some lighters that have become real staples among cigar smokers. And this is certainly one of them. A lot of us on the staff use them. And uh, so figured let's take a look at this one. Now, before we get into this, there's a couple things to go over really quick about this lighter. There are two variants of the PB207. And if you're going to buy one, you'll probably want to make sure to closely check the details as they are close but not all the same. Actually, the more I think about it, there's actually three variants. So this lighter is referred to as the Pocket Blazer or simply the Torch or as you can see, the Pocket Micro Torch. It's got a couple of different names depending on where you look at it. This is most notable because it's the consumer version and it features this little safety mechanism right here. It's a child-resistant uh, little latch and it just prevents the ignition from being pushed down uh, by a young set of hands. So there's this version. This is the single jet torch version. There is also a flat flame version as well. So again, two variants of this. But then there's also a second version, and it is this one, which is referred to as an industrial heat tool. And this is geared towards professionals. And as you can see, even on the package, it says this product is intended for sale to professionals only, for industrial use only. No consumer sales are permitted. Now, there's a couple of big differences in this, although in terms of functionality, they're not that big. The biggest one is that this one does not feature the safety mechanism. You can just push the ignition down and it will start uh, the lighter burning. Secondarily, it comes with this little rubber stand, as you can see, and that makes it great for hands-free work if you're doing a little soldering or really, I mean, there's all sorts of uses for this thing. And it's actually kind of crazy if you look at the package. Professional repair shops, automotive repair, electrical system repair, plumbing, sweat piping, dental, lab work, uh, all sorts of things. The one thing it doesn't mention is cigars. Kind of interesting. So anyway, two different versions. And I bring this up because this is the one I was sent first, and it drove me nuts because I couldn't figure out why it didn't have the safety mechanism. And I thought maybe we got a counterfeit one or they had changed the model or whatever. Thankfully, some folks at Blazer set me straight and uh, let me know that there's actually two different versions. So again, in terms of practical usage, not a huge difference, but you do want to make sure that you're getting the one that you want if you do want that safety mechanism. Now, for the purposes of this review, I am using the consumer one. And again, you'll notice that because it has that little safety mechanism right there. Now, the slider has a MSRP of $59.99. That applies whether it's this one, the flat flame, or the industrial heat tool. Comes with a one-year warranty. Measures just under three inches tall, about 1.2 inches wide, and about eight-tenths of an inch thick. And uh, again, as I said, for this review, I'm looking at the one that's geared towards consumers. And regardless of which model you use, one of the most distinctive features about this lighter is this cap. And in an era of single action lighters and various sorts of lids, this one's kind of unique. You actually have to lift it off. It remains attached to the body via this little chain. And for me, it's something I'm not terribly crazy about. I'm probably more ambivalent than anything. Um, I'm not, like I said, I don't really like it. I always keep thinking the chain's going to break or something's going to break, but hasn't done that yet. So, so far, so good. In terms of using the lighter, first you remove that lid or that cap, whatever you want to call it. And in this case, you're going to roll up the child-resistant little tab mechanism. That allows you to push down on the ignition, which starts the flow of butane and gives you a spark of the piezo ignition to start the fire. As long as you hold down the ignition, lighter keeps burning. Let it go. There you go. You can also latch this in place with that little mechanism right there. So if you are doing hands-free work, this is where it's a little bit more applicable to the industrial heat tool version, but you can use hands-free work, or if you just don't want to hold down the ignition, there's that option. To let it go, you just do that. There's a flame adjuster over here on this side. I have generally found it to work really well on the lowest setting, which is something I don't say a lot about lighters. Um, the high setting is perfectly fine as well. It's a little bit bigger, but for me, not really something I need. So again, I just bring that all the way down to the lowest setting. The other thing with this too is it's also running on regular butane. Usually I use the Zycar HP butane just to give my lighters a little more oomph. This does not need it. It runs just perfectly fine on regular off-the-shelf butane 
Uh, just get good, clean fuel, and you'll be fine. So let's turn the lights down really quick and give you a look at what this lighter looks like. So again, single flame torch, nice sharp flame, really geared towards smaller cigars, but it can certainly handle bigger ones as well. But it makes your touch-ups really easy if you smoke Lanceros or Coronas. Very easy to use on this. Really precise, really accurate. And again, as long as the butane's flowing, super reliable. So let's bring this back up. Now, in terms of features, this is a pretty bare-bones lighter. There's no punch cutter or anything like that. As I said, there's a locking mechanism right here to keep the flame engaged. It has a safety tab, your flame adjuster, and then your butane uh, valve is down here on the bottom for easy filling. Now, there are a bunch of colors in this available. Not all of them feature this clear portion down here on the bottom. There are some that are solid colors. So if you like having that as a uh, feature, make sure you check which color you're getting. There is a completely clear version as well. So if you like to see all the fuel that's in there and some of the mechanisms, you can see that as well. Again, lots of colors, lots of options. Just make sure you know what you're getting if you're looking into this. But where this really excels more than anything is in terms of its build quality. And it's one of the few lighters you're going to find that is made in Japan. And I, look, I don't want to correlate the two. There are plenty of folks who will do that on the internet or wherever. They think it might help the durability as opposed to some of the Chinese-made lighters that dominate the market. What I will tell you is that this tank feels pretty solid. I don't know if I necessarily want to run over it with a car. But in terms of the, the parts and the pieces that it uses, it does feel incredibly solid and well-made. There's no play. There's not a lot of play. There's not a lot of wiggle. It just feels really well built and well made. So again, that's the Blazer PB207. And again, this is the consumer version. Thanks so much for checking out this review. And for complete coverage of the premium cigar industry, be sure to check out halfwheel.com.